Hey, what's up guys? It's NKB here once again and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to talk about how to digitally distribute your music as an independent artist. So digitally distributing your music to platforms like Spotify, Tidal, Boomplay, um, YouTube Music and all the important platforms that you know. So without much talking, let's get to it. Now when it comes to digitally distributing your music, it's a very very important aspect of every individual musician's lives. So if you want to monetize your music, you need a distributor, okay? It's one of the best ways to monetize your music and monitor every aspect of your music online especially. So digital distributors are like some representatives for you, between you and the digital stores, okay? They accept your music, scrutinize it, make sure it meets the terms and requirements, and then they send it to these digital stores for your music to be monetized. They then monitor every aspect of your music concerning streaming, video plays, and all of that, and all the ge generated revenue is collected and given to you. So with the platform I'm going to use, they let you have 100% of your revenue. You don't take anything back. You decide what you do with your revenue once it's in your account. Now, the digital distributing platforms like TuneCore, DistroKid, Ditto Music, Song Trader, and then there are other ones as well. If you want to know more about them, you just do a, lit, a little bit of research on them on Google and you have all the important information that you want. Now, today, the platform I'm going to use is TuneCore. That is a platform I have been using for a while now, and that's a platform I'm familiar with. So, that is what I'm going to use. So, if you're interested in joining TuneCore, there's a link in the description below you can click it and then you can follow the steps as i'm about to do now mind you please don't skip any step every single step i'm going to show you is very important so please take your time and watch this video i know it's 30 minutes long but it will be worth it because at the end of the day it's about your music and making money out of it so without much talking let's get straight to it so this is the login page you input your email and password if you have an account and login. If not, then you click I need an account to take you to the registration page. At the registration page, you can log in using your Facebook account. This will use the information you have used for Facebook as your TuneCore login account. Or you can go straight and put in your name, select your location, email address, password, and then you confirm your password. After you agree to the TuneCore terms and conditions, and then verify you are not a robot. And then you click on create my free account for a free TuneCore account. Now these are some of the places where they distribute to. So you sell your music on a wide network of digital music stores. $9.99 per single, $29.99 per album. Keep 100% of your sales, revenue and copyrights. Make money on YouTube and Instagram. Collect your worldwide songwriter royalties. Alright, so since I have an account, let's click on sign in put in my details and then we log in okay so here's the dashboard after you are logged in you can set up your payout transfer which I will talk about later in the video they have um, store automator that will allow your songs to be distributed to new streaming services or digital music stores that tune call will add to the services in the future you can see three of my songs can be sent to some new stores all right so here you can create an album you can create a single and you can create a ringtone and create a tiktok single there's the tiktok i was talking about okay so let's create a single that's what we are here for but before that let me talk about distribution credits now this is a feature that allows you to purchase credits down just in case your songs are out for renewal and you don't have any money yet they pick it from the distribution credit so that you can renew your music. So now let's create a single. Okay. So here you put in the song title. Yeah. And then you state whether your songs um, have exclusive lyrics or not. If yes, when you distribute your song, you will see there will be an E over there next to your music to represent the explicit lyrics if no to they'll ask if you have um, explicit version available 
and then you select now here is if you already have made any distribution you just put in your spotify artist or apple id in there but since we are doing it fresh we're just going to put the name there straight no need to put in link and then you can add another main artist if let's say it's a feature or a collaboration let's put in the title of the song so game all right and then you select the language the primary genre which is hip-hop and then secondary genre mostly select singer songwriter okay so let's talk about the release date you make sure you set the release date like a month ahead okay to give you preparation time to you know do promo and all of that for it so i've set it to december 6 2020 all right release time spotify only now let me tell you about this particular feature so when you set the time at 12 o'clock a.m okay there are two settings over there and it's very very important like to keep note about this so um at 12 a.m the first option is at 12 a.m est new york city in the listeners time zone now this particular uh, feature means that whether it is 12 a.m in new york or 12 a.m in london the song is going to be released at 12 a.m it doesn't consider time zone factors okay it doesn't consider time zone factors so when, once you set 12 a.m and it's 12 a.m in new york your song will be released in new york city and when it gets to 12 a.m in london on that particular date your song will be released in london so with this one songs will be released earlier somewhere and others too will get the songs later on so mostly these are the settings that i use when i am doing a release so that um once i state or I do the promo and state the particular time of the release it affects all time zones without you know having differentiation in time zones and all that so i like using that particular setting so once i see 12 a.m on the promo everywhere anyone that sees it will know that this particular song is going to be released 12 a.m okay at my location doesn't matter where your location is so that's what the first option really does now the second option takes time zone into factor okay so when it's 12 a.m in new york city and if it's new york city i'm doing the distribution from then the song is going to be released 5 a.m in london because it's taking um time zone factors into consideration so you should keep that in mind when you are selecting i mostly use the first one to keep it level or keep the balance across board yeah so keep that in mind it's very very important so that whichever one you select you know how you do your pro your promo accordingly so can this release be sold worldwide yes of obviously but if you have restrictions you can click no and then you select the places where you don't want your sh your songs to be distributed to has it been previously released no because you are doing this for the first time now you can leave the label name empty the upc empty the upc is like a barcode for your music it's a unique code for your song isrc also you can leave it blank recording location ghana but i don't have most streams from ghana so i leave it empty so i can reach a wider audience so you click and then it will process it takes a while i think my internet is a bit slow okay now we've created a single you can see right here the release date the label is your artist name they have created an isrc number and upc number for you the primary genre hip-hop rap secondary genre singer songwriter and then uh, the language now you can see this is a unique code for your music it's unique to your music so you take that very important and it's not a code that you should be showing out but this is just a test um distribution that i'm doing so um it's not important for me to show because after i'll delete it now let's upload an artwork keep this in mind every single uh um, platform has uh, requirements you have to meet when it comes to creating an artwork so when you are contacting your graphic designer please this is a very important feature let them know about the the uh, requirements that you need before they create the artwork for you and i always advise that you get yourself a very professional graphic designer to design something though for you because it's going to help your brand or team call 
you know allows you to have a sample they generate album artworks for you now you can see this no extra information should be provided on the artwork okay it's very very important so once you're done you can upload your artwork and select the artwork that you have but since i don't have any artwork i'll let TuneCore make one for me so let's see the suggested ones uh TuneCore have designed or pre-designed for Okay, so um, I'm going to select this particular one that has caught my eye. You know, most of these designs, they suck. But um, I'm going to manage it like that. So uh, I'm going to select this particular one. And yes, it has appeared. So that's it. So let's go to the um, next step. That is to add the stores. But before we do that, when you are playing the song, you need to actually make sure that the song fits a, a particular requirement, the requirement that you've stated here. So you let your sound engineer be aware of all these requirements before they export your song for you. Okay, it's very, very important because if your song doesn't meet these requirements, you have issues uploading your music onto your core. In fact, when you upload your song, it won't, um, it won't display or it won't allow you to upload unless you do the required settings before you can upload your song here it is very very important because um, your song needs to be at, of a quality level and all these stores accept also have requirements so they have made the generalized requirements that every artist must follow once you're using TuneCore I don't know about the other stores but this is what tune core requires okay it's very very important so you let your sound engineer know of this before they export your music make sure that your 16 bit sample size for 4.1 kilohertz sample rate 1411 kilobytes per second bit rate stereo wave files it's very very important all right so before we upload the song we, we should come down here and put in the songwriter name i should put in my um legal name which is michael a selfie but i usually put in nkb because um that's what i've been doing since so i usually put in nkb and you can add one or more songwriters if you want you click that button you can add more songwriters if there are more songwriters also here you can add extra creative okay you select you put in the creative name and select their role on the music so here i put in beat beast and he's a producer of the song you can add more creatives as well if it's a collaboration or a feature and here as well an isrc number has been generated uniquely for your song you can actually select the instrumental aspect if it's not a music like a full song but just an instrumental so this is a particular side you put in your lyrics um you copy your lyrics and paste it there but make sure you arrange it nicely okay and it will appear on any platform that allows lyrics to be viewed or to be shown for example facebook the stories and then the reels instagram reels and stuff and here's a tiktok aspect as well i told you about so you can set the timer where you want your songs to begin from on tiktok and then that's where the songs will start whenever you select that or you select your song on tiktok okay so once you're done with that we can go and add the stores very important okay all right so here is the stores section now with the store automator it's it costs an extra ten dollars to do that where your songs will be sent to future digital stores that will be integrated with your tune core so we are not going to use that we're going to stick with our budget now here you can select this particular box okay deliver to all current digital so to select all the stores available in tune core 
this will automatically select every single store so i'll suggest you do that in order not to leave some out if you start to do it uh, manually okay let's see spotify amazon music youtube music pandora Deezer. we have iHeartRadio, radio napster tencent tiktok slash reso boom net ease ghana you know and all these ones we have we have seven day guitar we even have shazam yeah so people can shazam your music when it's released out there we have boom play and music time now amazon on demand is creating a cd version of your music which causes a retail price of 9.98 and since a lot of people have a lot of digital platforms on their mobile phones we will not use this particular feature but if you're interested you can select that particular site once you're done you click save and then these stores will be added to your music so these are the stores that your music is going to be distributed to they are streaming platform slash digital music stores so yeah you can see shazam spotify youtube music apple music tiktok you can see boom play over here okay i think this particular side has reset again so when we save it won't work we need to put in the songwriter name and the other ones as well so you need to recheck them but once you're done you click save okay now the upload option has appeared okay now once again you click on the upload button a pop-up will open and then you select where your music is onto the platform now i'm going to hit on this again because it's very very important your music must meet the requirements okay it must meet the requirement okay 16 bit sample raise um sample size sorry 44.1 kilohertz sample rate and 1411 kilobytes per second bitrate stereo wave files okay so let's upload the music the music i'm uploading is called game so yeah now that i've uploaded it is going to uh take a while to upload you need a fast internet for this because it will help make your work easier but i'm taking my time with this that's why you know everything's gonna take long but most of these stuff do take long if your internet is a bit slow and my internet is a bit slow today so yeah it's still loading Oh, it's taking a while. Okay, let me wait till it's fully loaded and I get back. Okay, so it's done uploading. Now, once the song is uploaded, they bring a play button. Okay. Now, before we talk about the play button, you see my song uploaded without any issue because it met all the requirements. Okay it met all the requirements so everything was smooth for me no errors nothing okay so now you can listen to the song to make sure that you've not made a mistake with the song okay so the play button that allows you to listen to the song so So I think we've done majorly. Let's go to uh, the pre-order section. It's optional, okay? And it's only available for iTunes. Okay, and a pre-order allows your fans to order your music ahead of its release date, okay? But it costs an extra 15 US dollars. Helps It lets you do some customization as well. The pre-order date, it lets you select if you want to bring a preview of the track. It also gives you customizing pricing as well. You can change the prices from 0 0.99, 0 0.99 to 1.29 USD and all of that. But since you want to stick with the 9.99 budget, you will select none. Okay, because it costs extra to do that. Okay, so we've done with the details, stores, artwork, and upload. Now, there's another important aspect that you need to put into consideration. When you select one year, remember that after a year, you're going to renew it at 9 dollars 
okay you select two years you're going to renew the song after two years you select five years you're going to renew the song after five years but i will recommend you select the five years if you have the money and these are the prices or the amount they charge accordingly so keep that in mind but if you have the money select the five years so you'll be at peace store automator is selected here we are not going to use it so we we'll won't check it okay think everything here is done all right so we can add to cart yeah click add to cart okay so this pop-up actually gives you the opportunity to once again close and go and check and make sure everything is exactly as you want it because once you've distributed you won't be able to make any changes and it's stated clearly over there so let's go to checkout okay so this is the final process okay it shows you where you're distributing your song which costs 9.99 we are still on that budget so we've done well now they add extra features here that you can add to your cart youtube sound recording revenue or upgrade and get tune called social but we are sticking to 9.99 so let's just proceed to check up is the final thing you click once everything is okay for you so once you click on proceed to check out everything pans out and then your song is sent to your distributor to, for scrutinization before they send it to the stores yes that's what happens so this is very very important that you do that so this is how you actually distribute your music now one advice i would like to give um, especially to those watching from ghana or other parts of africa is um you need a credit card, okay, in order to make payment using TuneCore. They have um, two payment methods, that's credit card or Visa card and um, PayPal. Now I know there are a lot of restrictions concerning PayPal in most of the African countries here, so if you're watching me from any of the restricted areas, you need a credit card. You can go to your bank and then you add or request for a credit card and then you ask for online transaction um, forms or permissions. I'm sure you're gonna fill some forms and then they will allow you to be able to use your card online. That is a very important aspect. If your card does not have online permissions, you're gonna have issues setting up the payment, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to set up the payment in the next videos coming. Now, what I'm gonna show you right now is how to get your song on Instagram Stories, Instagram Reels, and Facebook Stories. So, let's get straight to it. Okay, so um, this is the dashboard Want to show you how to get your song on you know facebook stories instagram reels and instagram stories so you click on video monetization you click on facebook instagram and reels great i've hidden some codes for my song so yeah so you see that all my songs are here and all of them are monetized okay you can click on send all to Facebook to send all the songs to Facebook or you can click on the monetize buttons which will be off. So you just put them all on and then you see the monetize button will be turned, you know, verified green. And then all the songs will be sent to Facebook and Instagram. Now you can also check your um, money and reports here. Here you find how much money you've made since you started distributing i i haven't made a lot of money because um, a lot of these streaming platforms are not available to my Ghanaian family here so people find it difficult to actually streaming my songs so i've just been pitching out to a lot of um playlists and that's what has been generating a lot of streams for me most of these playlists are from the united states so they stream my songs a lot i've made only five dollars Ever since I started distributing since 2018. Yes, that's how bad it is. But you're still gonna do it. Now United States have given me 2003 streams. That is 532 USD. Yes. And one person bought my songs in Tanzania, one person also bought my song. So and Ghana only 16 streams. Like I said, we do not have a lot of streaming platforms available here, so People find it difficult streaming. But when you go to my uh, SoundCloud, I have a lot of streams there from my Ghana people, so it's great. 
I have a lot of streams from Spotify. Like I said, I've been pitching to um, a lot of Spotify playlists and it's got me a lot of um, four dollars so far and Pandora as well. I mean, yeah. So this way you can have all your reports. Don't be discouraged. You just keep going, you keep pushing and then you make enough money as the years go by. I'm not, I'm also not giving up. I'm pushing gradually. I'm getting 2000 streams from total strangers that I know, I know nothing of or total strangers that I don't know. So it's all good. You never give up. You just keep pushing. One day the numbers will just keep increasing like that. So yeah. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set up the payment options. And after that, I'm going to show you how to set up the payout options, which are very two important aspects as well, because once you've been able to generate your money, you will want to find ways and means you will transfer it from the TuneCore account into your bank account or into your PayPal account or into your credit card or whatever, or whatever you have. Okay. So that's what I'm going to teach you next. Now you can also use your PayPal balance to renew your songs but let me show you how to set up so you click up on the name of your profile and click on payment preferences okay to set up your payment option okay internet's a bit slow so please bear with me Okay, so once you're here, I've covered my payment options. So once you're here, you need your credit card. Or if you have a PayPal account, you can put your PayPal account options in there. Now, once your renewal is up, TuneCore is going to automatically deduct from your credit card. It's very, very important. But I'll suggest you use a credit card since where I'm from, PayPal is not easily accessible to everyone. So you click on add another card and then a pop-up will come for you to place in information concerning your card and once you're done you click add and then you're good to go or with paypal you can click add payment and then you're good to go you can add your payment information once you're done you click or save my preferences and then that's it it saves your preferences so the next thing i'm going to show you is how to actually cash out your money there's an application they call pioneer which is like an online um saving platform it's like an online bank let me put it that way so you go to your dashboard you click on set up my payout transfer and it will take you to the pioneer page now the page is going to take you to which will be coming in some few seconds over here is there they are showing you the application called pioneer that is best for transferring your money from TuneCore to your account now but pioneer are, allows bank transfers okay they show the amount they charge which varies by country obviously they have the paypal option as well the amount they charge they even allow you to take check so i believe that's why they are requiring or they are requesting that you use that platform because it allows you to have a variety of you know payout options you have prepaid mastercard and pioneer i'm sure you can even use your visa card over there so yeah or if you want if you're interested in using pioneer just click on start using pioneer then you're good okay thank you guys for watching the video and i'm grateful if you're able to make it to the end if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed and click on the bell button to get notified anytime i upload a new video now mind you this is not the only video that i'm going to upload i'm going to do a series of videos as well because once you do this distribution profiles of you are created on these platforms as an artist they recognize you as an artist and place you under the genre concerning your first upload so um i'm going to do a video to show you how to claim those profiles and manage them yourself i'm going to show you um how to claim your spotify profile and your apple music profile that's if we have enough time for that so please stick around and share this video with your friends who are doing music who need to have this knowledge or this information thank you guys for watching it's nkb here once again peace